the Madison Seminary, one of the most haunted buildings in Ohio. We could actually see figures moving around doors looking at us. There is a doctor that still haunts here. He still is very mean to these patients that still reside here. It is one of the most terrifying places I've ever been because I know the dead are still here. I just saw something move on the left. What the heck was that? The devil. Is here? The devil's here. Right off of that. It's like a, a little ball of light though, and it went from left to right. Oh, oh. one of the bed down there, yeah. Toy. Oh, it's, it's a devil too. Toy box devil. What was that? Was that? that was down here. Yeah, myself. Here we go. Are you kidding me? I'm not recording! The history of Madison Seminary begins in 1847, when a small wooden building was built on the property in order to provide higher education for the men and women of Lake County, Ohio. In 1859, they added a whole other building to the property to house the students, and 150 students could live in the boarding hall. The Madison Seminary would serve as an education center all the way until 1891, when it was purchased by the Ohio Women's Relief Corps. During this time, it was used to serve Army Civil War nurses, as well as the family of Civil War soldiers, and it was renamed to the National Relief Corps Home. It was at this time in 1891 that a new larger building would be added to the property, known as the Ohio Cottage. It would span 26,000 square feet and have 63 different rooms. The smaller original building would now be known as the Civil War Building, and that would be 6,000 square feet and have 23 different rooms. The most notable resident during this time was Elizabeth Stiles. Her husband had been executed directly in front of her by Confederate soldiers pretending to be part of the Union. They saved her life only because she was too pretty to shoot. Now after this, she was recruited by Abraham Lincoln to be a spy for the Union. Now following the war, Elizabeth would take up residence in the home until her passing in 1898. She was buried just down the street in the local cemetery. And by 1904, the Women's Relief Corp could no longer maintain the property, so they donated it to the state of Ohio. When the state took over the home, they would use it in the same capacity for more than five decades. In 1962, the site would change uses once again, and it was used to rehabilitate mentally ill patients as part of the Cleveland State Hospital and Apple Creek Institution. Later, the name was changed to Opportunity Village and honor inmates from the Marysville Correctional Institution could come to learn valuable life skills at Opportunity Village. One of the most notable inmates during this time was that of Blanche Jacobs. Blanche Jacobs was serving a previous charges that she was on probation for and she was scared that she was gonna go back to jail. So she went to the home of Mr. and Mrs. A.J. Robinson, and she actually assaulted them, ended up killing them, and hiding their bodies in their bathroom. Blanche would confess these murders to her husband a few short days later, and he did not believe that she was a murderer. So she ended up actually bringing him to the site of the murders, and only then did he agree to take her to the police station so she could turn herself in. Opportunity Village closed its doors in 1975, and then the building was transferred to Lake County, Ohio. Since 1977, the property has had many different uses. At one point, it housed county offices, the police station, even plant nurseries were in the building for a period of time. Now, in 2016, our good friend Adam Kimmel purchased the property and he began restoring it. Kimmel is a well-known paranormal investigator who owns multiple locations in Ohio where he restores the properties and offers ghost hunts and paranormal and history tours throughout the year. Along with owning two very popular haunted historic locations in Ohio, Kimmel actually manages five different properties between Illinois and Indiana. On top of all of this, he films and edits a popular YouTube series known as Resident Undead, where he investigates haunted locations all across the country. There are undocumented claims of a possible murder that took place in the basement of the Ohio Cottage side of the building. In this room, psychic mediums and police dogs actually hit in the same area where they believe the body is buried, but they dug a little bit and didn't find any physical evidence of a body or any remains in the area. In this room, paranormal investigators
back in 2018. Now over in the Civil War building, on the second floor there's a room known as a seance room, where another dark entity has made its presence known to many different investigators over the years. Madison Seminary has been one of our favorite locations since we first started investigating out here six years ago. While we were filming B-roll up in the asylum, we actually captured video evidence of paranormal activity that proves how insane this location is. You guys are about to see what we experienced in one of our favorite locations on the return trip to Madison Seminary. Um, because if I put it over here, it'll give it a little... Yeah. yeah. Like does that. Yeah, it helps. Um, I have the other one. Oh, why am I recording this? <laughs> Clip it. See, I'm okay right now. <laughs> he said, no, I'm pretty cold. Pretty cold in here. I mean, if it's activated, we only have like two more hours. <laughs> um. Holy shit. Are you fucking Holy kidding shit. me? I'm not recording. No. I'm so I'm angry. Recording. Oh, I am. No, oh I'm my not. God. Am no I way. recording? Was I pointing no at that? Way. Please no tell me I was pointing at that. No Please tell me I was pointing way. at that. Please, the door open. That's fucking crazy. Please. So just a little bit of context, guys. We've been sitting in here for the past probably 10 minutes trying to de like debunk this in any way possible, but we haven't been able to. I can't figure it out. And the door's not magnetic. We thought maybe it was a light at first because the light's magnetic. Yeah. Because we had the light over here. But it, it hasn't, it doesn't do it. We've, and that's been on there for over two minutes. We've been, tr we've tried walking around the room. We've tried jumping up and down. The, I shook, shook the cabinet. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to knock these bottles over, but. It's, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's closed. Like, you have to... You have to tug on it, you yeah. You have to pop it. And it's been closed all night. We've been walking around the field. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't like it. That's what I mean. It's like not it, us. If it was us, this, like, us doing this should pop it open, right? Because I just walked in and out before. So if it was like... You know what I mean? Like, we're doing more shaking now yeah. than we, yes, I was then. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. The thing that sells it for me too is you put it down, you put it on right. um, the cabinet right here, walked, walked out, away, walked, away. walked back, back in. in, put another one down, yeah. walked back out, filmed up, looked around for a second, stopped, go like that, and then you know, it pops and it swings. Right. I don't know. There's don't force know. behind it. I don't. I mean, like, is that just trying to get? I put the magnet on it ten times. Like, yeah. it's not. I, sl I let the magnet like hit it pretty good. It's. The magnet, the light's on there, the magnet's on there. Yeah. Pull the magnet off. Yep. The magnet has been sitting on The door's not moving. It's, and right. it's, not, it's not a magnetic latch. Here, you, come over here. You guys can see it. It's not magnetic. It's an actual latch. It's not locked, obviously, but there's no, it's not held closed by a magnet. Right. So this, this isn't like negating the mag magnetic pull or whatever. Right. Sciencey stuff, but. <laughs> Very technical terms. Yeah, magnetic pull. I don't, know, it's I don't know. I really don't know. Well, this, like you said, though, this is the second time we've gotten something on B-roll. Yeah. It's almost like divine timing sort of thing, right? And this probably has absolutely nothing to do with it, but I stopped recording. Yeah. Yes. 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 Still we both heard it. How thing. is it still That's recording? The crazy. I'm That's probably in. the craziest thing. Because we, yeah. we were filming as I was setting up the lights, and I'm like, oh, why am I still filming? This yep. we don't have the light set up yet. I stop. I go, boop. You hear it go, boop, boop, boop. And then we came back out. I was getting ready to start filming again. And it swings open, and my first thing was, I'm not filming, yep. I'm pissed. And you go, no, the light's on, the light's on. And I said, yep. no, I stopped it. Yep. And I looked, it was still recording. Because we were looking at this light, and we're like, oh, we might need a little bit yeah, more extra just light. Checking out the lights. Yeah. You're recording the lights, you're just seeing How the is it still recording? Like, you all heard crazy. it stop. Yeah, we both heard it. What is Weird start to the night. What in the hell? Dude, that's, I don't so, know what you're making that. so cool. Yeah. That's so cool. And he was a skeptic too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just a short I time ago. Just, I can't. Yeah. That is. <laughs> His face. He was just. 
<laughs> he's he's not scared. happy at first. Like, oh, right. This place is haunted. Yep. <laughs> I can't be here. I guess where you get to stay for your your solo later. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's do B-roll. Yeah. And then we'll uh, we'll get into it. Real B-roll. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Tonight, we have returned to one of our favorite locations that we've ever investigated. We're back in Ohio at Madison Seminary. Tonight, we already experienced paranormal activity doing B-roll, which I guess is a common occurrence here at the Haunted Nights channel, but we have a special guest tonight, someone who is supposed to be on the channel already. We have Chris with us tonight. Welcome to the channel. Finally, yes. you make your debut. We were gonna have you on last year at Winchester. You were out there with us for those first two nights. Unfortunately, as everybody knows, we were robbed. Robbed. You were part of that. That Go was on. super Everything. fun. All of our things are not ours anymore. They're somebody else's. But we're glad to finally have you on. What is your first thoughts on Madison after experiencing what we already did, just filming B-roll? One of the craziest things I've already seen. Uh, building's amazing, so old, but I just cannot wait to see what else we got to see. I think it's about that time we get in there. We see what Madison has in store for us this time. Don't worry, I won't lie about any coin flips this time for you to do a solo. We already have that planned out for the night. So let's get in there and grab our stuff. Let's start up in the asylum tonight and uh, see what we can get. Yeah, let's do it. All right guys, so we moved over to the top floor of the Ohio Cottage. We're in the asylum floor. So this is said to be one of the darker areas of the Madison Seminary. So we have equipment blanketing this entire floor. Um, we have a couple of REM pods set up and mount meters, just devices that are gonna make a ton of noise basically. And uh, this is where we've already experienced activity tonight. So hopefully we can get them to interact with us again. And we have a lot of history up here. We've both had crazy experiences up here. You got to do your solo up here last time yep. um, for the Alone series. If you guys haven't seen that yet, go back to our channel. It's from a couple years ago now. Um, but I've had some crazy experiences up here. You've had crazy experiences up here. Chris has already had a crazy experience up here. So we have, like you said, everything up here. We're gonna do, um, you know, basically device interaction up here is what we're gonna focus on. And a lot of, um, a lot of footsteps and stuff happen up here. So we're gonna listen for disembodied voices, footsteps, because um, that's a common occurrence. So I figured this would be a good spot to start tonight. Yeah. Even walking around tonight, we've heard whistling, we've heard voices. Yeah. So I'm excited to see what we interact with. My name is Steve. This is Dylan. You may recognize us. We've been here before. We brought a new friend with us tonight. This is Chris. We mean you no harm. We're here to be your friends. We're here to talk to you. We have some devices set up that I know you're familiar with. All you have to do is get near them, wave your hand in front of them, touch them, and they light up and make some noise. It's just a way for you to let us know that you're here and you can hear our voice. We understand the history of this location isn't all that positive. So if you'd like to, you can use these devices to speak with us and tell us your story. If you're a little bit cautious and standing away from us right now, that's okay, we understand. Could you go ahead and make a noise for us? Maybe knock on something? I know some people come here to try to figure out if you are still here. We know you're here. You don't have to prove that to us. We're just here to talk to you. We know you're here. We've experienced you before. Oh, we got one of the men down there, yeah. Right away. Thank you. That was a strong hit, too. Yeah, yep. That so maxed it out. Can you step back from that so it stops? You... Okay. Perfect. Thank you. So it's like as soon as I said, we know you're here already, right? Like, you don't have to prove anything to us. Yeah. We're just here to talk to you. Again, we can use these devices to communicate. So if that's the easiest way for you to say yes or no, we'd love to have a conversation. You can knock on the wall, tap on the floor, step up to that device again. Oh, okay, okay. perfect, perfect, Thank very you. good. Do you like that we brought someone new tonight? I mean, there's no reason for that to be going off. Right. At all. Somebody down this hallway earlier tonight opened a door in a cabinet. Can you do that again if you can hear our voice? I'd lose my mind. That would be absolutely insane. We couldn't believe it when it happened. And we were dumbfounded. I still can't. Yeah. I still can't. And we should have caught it. No, no I stopped I the recording on the camera. So crazy. I, you heard it. Yeah. It's, I hit it. the button, you heard it stop. Mm -hmm. And then when I step back out of the room and it, and it opens, my first gut reaction was, no, pissed. Yep. 
I didn't catch it. I'm not recording. Yeah. And then we looked down and the camera is somehow still recording. That's like Winchester though. You caught it when you were just walking down. Wasn't paying attention. Yeah. yeah. Same idea though. Are you still down there? Yeah. Did you hear that? There's movement. If the surgeon is down there, slam on those doors. Show us how powerful you are. It's over here again? Yeah. There's like a footstep. Yeah, there's, there's movement again down there. Yeah. This is interesting so far, right? Like the things that have gone off, the millimeter that's all the way on the other side of the room by the bed. Mm -hmm. We're hearing knocking and movement down there. Sounds the like it's farther down the hallway right, the too. The equipment that's next to us isn't going off. Yep. Yeah. It's okay if you don't remember us or if you haven't seen us before. It's been a few months since we've last been here. Chris has never been here. We just want to have a conversation with you. We love this location. We love visiting, retelling its story. If the surgeon is down that hallway, we understand what you did. So over Every here. time we bring this up the surgeon, you brought the surgeon. Yeah. Right? Second time you brought up the surgeon, mm -hmm. that one's gone off. Can you touch the top of that device so it maxes out again? Like you did just a moment ago? I'm gonna step towards this hallway. Again, if you're in that doctor's room, can you please open the cabinet? Pull that door open again? If there's something else that you can do that's easier for you, if you can move one of these wheelchairs, or maybe the checkers board, do something within your power to show us that you're here. That's one on the bed again? Yeah, yeah. It's one on the bed. Okay. Can you max that one out again if you want us to walk down there? Just touch the top of it so it lights up all red again. We can walk down there and talk to you directly. Is that like walking down there? My heart is like racing. I can't even hear with my heartbeat just going nuts right now. Did you hear that? Because it that? started no. moving closer. Oh good, they're leaving me. I can tell if it was like footsteps or what it was. Grab the top of that. We'll come over and talk to you. We understand it probably takes a lot of energy. It just proves to us though that you want us to walk over there. I just saw something move on you the left. Saw something in the corner? Yeah. What the heck was that? What'd it look like? Just a shadow went right to left. And it's not like the blinking over here. That's, right. that's over here. Yeah. This was, I don't, there's this, I don't know what this is right here blocking me, but I saw something go across the floor there. Wow. If Chris just saw you, can you either show yourself again? Or make a really loud noise. Make your presence known. Can you go back over towards the bed? What was that? As soon as I started moving over. You don't need to be afraid. Yeah, it seems like standoffish. You yeah, know? like as I got closer. Right. It's open again? No, I really wanted to. Oh, I was gonna say. Yep, see you. Oh, you would know if it was open again. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be down the stairs. Can you do that again? Whoever was in here earlier, whether it was a nurse, a patient, the surgeon, you opened that medical cabinet right there in front of us. I was standing right here. Can you do that again? Pop that door open. Can you please make a noise for us? 
knock. Oh, oh, yo, yep. it's the full back over there. Pretty yep. close to maxing yeah, out again. Yeah. Maxed. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then it just stops. That's what's interesting. Right. That's very impressive. We appreciate you interacting with that device. Again, we understand it probably takes a lot of energy to do that. It's probably very difficult. Were you one of the patients that was housed up here? I think I just heard a faint voice. A voice? What does that sound like? Very faint. Like female, male? It sounded female. It was very, very faint. We've been hearing a lot of that. Yeah. All night. Yeah. Like, I, all, to be honest, it almost didn't even sound like it was up here. Like on a different floor? Yeah. Well, the stairwell is right here, too. Yeah. Do you remember me still? I, I just heard another voice. You heard another voice down there? Yeah, too? that one sounded male. That one sounded up here, but it was quiet again, almost like it was down around this corner. Yeah. It's weird. It's like we're being pulled in two different directions. Are you trying to separate us? Part of me wants to do an EVP session up here. Yeah. Because I, I want to ask, like, yeah. about this cabinet. Who it was? Who it was, if they can, you know, if they can do it again, yeah. Why they did it, right? Yeah, meander back down. Like, I mean, I, that's not original to the building, right? But it's it's an old medical cabinet, right? It could just be a residual thing, right? Yeah, like something attached to the cabinet, or right? Maybe someone interacting with the cabinet right. from the building, right? Because I mean, I still can't wrap my head around that. No, no. that was still no. one of the craziest, the craziest things. things. Yep. We sat up here they for how long trying to bunk yeah. it? Could that was one of the craziest things that. And it happened right in front of us. Yeah. It wasn't like we were down the hall and heard something. We we're like, oh, what was that? And then the, the cabinet was open. Right. We were standing right here. We watched it open. Yeah. We both watched it open. This is ridiculous. We sat up here for probably 15, 20 minutes. Trying, trying. everything. Jumping up and down, shaking yeah. the cabinet. I mean, there's no physical way we could have done that. With such force. Yeah. There's no way. Such force. It didn't, it didn't pop open and swing. It no. opened and was like all the way open. Jerked it. Yeah. yeah. It was loud. Yeah. It was cool. I mean, it was, it was, it was one cool. of those things that like, it, it was funny because like nobody really did anything at first. They were just kind of like staring. And then I was like instant anger because I was like, there's no way I'm recording. Yeah. So I hit the button. Yeah. And then you're like, no, your light's on. I said, no, no, no. I stopped. And I looked down and it was still recording. That's what I mean. It's almost like divine timing sort of yeah. thing. Like it was like we were supposed to catch it. Right. Right. Like they were like, hey, check this out. We weren't supposed to start filming B-roll until 2 a.m. Right. So we were supposed to catch that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> anyway. All right, let's ask some questions, or yeah. should we do a quiet one? I think questions, right? Probably right questions, yeah. yeah. That'll be far enough away, it won't pick it up, I don't okay. think, so. Let's, um, you can come down here if you want to talk to us. We're going to use a new device. It should be able to record your voice. We've used it here before. So is Kimmel. Kimmel has a ton of them. We're friends with Adam. If you want to come down here, we're going to ask you a few questions, okay? I'm going to step in here. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Don't mind me. Yeah, because he's very welcoming and very nice every time we come here. Yeah. Hello, friend. All right, so we're going to ask you a few questions, I say to the cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing Monday? <laughs> Talk to a cabinet in a cold building. Normal things. All right, ready? Yeah. Just do a couple questions? Yeah. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Who opened this cabinet earlier? Do you like that we're here right now? What were you grabbing in the cabinet? If you recognize any of us, can you say our name? Do you know who owns this building now? Can you say his name? Do you know what county we're in? One, two, three. 
I really want it to open so bad. But like part of me doesn't. Yeah, nah. What's that? Like, like the cabinet. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want it to open, but part of me doesn't because like that just validates exactly. it even more. Right. So we've been coming here for seven years it's and never that has done. never opened. Yeah. We've had 10 people in this room, 20 people in the hallway, people yeah. walking in and out nonstop. That's it's why never you, open. This is one of our favorite locations for that reason, though, because you always have a new experience that you walk away with. That was yeah. crazy. I mean, yeah. like, that's... And for Chris's first time, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's hey, such a check, cool experience. Hey, brother, check this out. Yeah. Look, we oh, open doors. Normal stuff. Yeah. yeah. Surprise, we're here. <laughs> All right, let's see. What's that say? Something, something, the cabinet? Yeah, I heard the cabinet too, so. I opened this cabinet. I opened this cabinet. I open cabinet? Like, you can hear cabinet for sure, yeah. Do you like that we're here right now? Something goes, yes, I do. Yeah. What is that? What was that? I I can't. It sounds like I can't. Yeah. Either I can't. I can't. Yeah. You can hear that one. Uh, Almost. It could be it's Lake, like Lake County. County. But yeah, yeah it's, it's not super clear in the end. But mm. definitely said something. I opened the cabinet. Yes. Something, something, the cabinet. I opened yeah. this cabinet. Yeah. Interesting. Right. Let's see what this one got. Play that back. Yeah. yeah. Wait a second. It's like I opened this I heard cabinet. cabinet. At the end, again. Yeah. Last word was cabinet. Cabinet. Yeah. Cabinet. What was that? What the heck was that? That was down here. Yeah. What so I can tell if that was like a door. door. It sounded like a door. Door. Hello? What the heck? We all just snapped. We just snapped so quick. It sounded like a door. Yeah. Hello? Oh, isn't this like the biter room? Yeah, it's oh, the biter room. Yeah. Oh, excellent. It's going to be a great place for solos. <laughs> <laughs> can you make another noise? You're not in trouble. Why are there geese at four o'clock in the morning? Yeah, what are they doing? Well, you guys gotta go to bed. It's February. Do goose do that? <laughs> <laughs> Had to be in the live stream to know that. Did you just move one of these doors? It sounded like the door opened and like hit the wall. Yeah. Or... yeah. Can you make a noise again? Back out there. It's been a while though. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. Let's keep playing that back, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Go back down here or just do it here, I guess. It doesn't matter. Yeah, let's do it here. Oh. <laughs> I was like, this is it. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, boy. You know who owns this building now? Can you say his name? Yo, Kimmel. It's Kimmel so clearly. Immediately. All of us. So Kimmel. clearly. That's Immediately so cool. That All That's of amazing. Us. Oh, that's so cool. You know who owns this building now? Can you say his name? That's so cool. Gosh, that's. Oh, you know man, the validation is so cool. There's something there, too. You know who owns this building now? Can you say his name? Camel. That's so cool. You know what's happening? Can't make it. 
That's not so there's a lot there. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot there. Kimmel clears day. Yeah. Kimmel cabinet clears against the game. Yep. That's all so both, both intelligence. Again, both yeah. say cabinet yep. at the end of it. That's yeah. awesome. And intelligence. Yep. Yeah. And it not only shows intelligence because like they're answering our questions, it shows intelligence because they know Kimmel is. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So yeah, like yeah, we yeah. said, hey, yep. what's your favorite color? And they said black. We said, hey, do you know who currently owns this building? And they right. said Kimmel. Nine years now? Mm. They know crazy. Them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Immediately. So cool. Kimmel. They're like, yeah, it's Kimmel. Like, we know Kimmel. That's cool. And they're interacting right yeah. with us, so that's so cool. It's the intelligence. That's why this place is so crazy. Right. It's it's always the intelligence here. It's like you said, it's always something different. Mm -hmm. There's nights where it's quiet. That happens everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. But when you get the activity here, it's it's like that. It's yeah. not Oh, I think I heard something. It's, hey, we're going to open a cabinet door mm -hmm. directly in front of three of you that are standing five feet away from it. Right. We don't care. It's right? not, I think that said Kimmel's right. name. It's Kimmel. Oh, it's right. Kimmel. This like, is Kimmel. Yeah. We know this. Like, That's cool. They are aware. They're intelligent. They're not afraid to interact. Right. And yeah, there's some, there's some spooky, darker stuff that happens up here. We've had things that are freaky up here. We've had, you know, the, the dark shadows and the loud bangs and the footsteps. They said they're going to beat me up. Right. They're going to mess you up. They, I lost an hour of my life. I don't remember in this yeah. room, right? Like, I don't remember anything about that. There's crazy things like that, but it's not always like that. Right. You know what I mean? Like, we're not interacting, I don't think, with anything mean right now. Right. I don't think we're necessarily talking to the surgeon or whoever he was that was up here. Mm -hmm. He might have been the one to open the cabinet earlier. Mm -hmm. But whoever we're talking to right now, I think, is just here. Right. You know what I mean? They're just here. They're, they're doing this. The, that's Kimmel. Like, there's a door opening down. You know what I mean? Like, people right. are just here. Yeah. It's wild. It's just such an active building. It it's is. One of our and, it's, and again, we're bad at YouTube, so we're starting super late. <laughs> but, like, it's 4.30 in the morning, yeah. Yeah. and this stuff active. is going on. Yeah. It doesn't matter. And, like, we're all fired up again. Right. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter the time at all, it's, honestly. And it's not residual stuff. It's not no. this would be the most active time right. during the building. They're still exactly. just here. Yeah. And they're like... What, yeah, it's Kimmel. Why, why are you guys awake? Yeah. First of all, why are you up here at four thirty in the morning too? It's Kimmel. Like you guys know that. You've been coming here. We know that. Like, yeah. I don't know, man. This place is just so wild. Cool. It's so and, cool. And that's and that's just the first part. Like yeah. we just started. We have so much ground to cover tonight. Yeah. We're gonna so. do things a little bit different tonight. We're gonna do a bunch of group sessions together, um, and then we're only gonna do one solo tonight. Yeah. You guys mm -hmm. voted on it. You'll see who you guys picked later, who gets to come up back up to the asylum by themselves in the dark for the solo. Nice. It was voted in our Instagram subscriber only poll. So if you guys want to have back influence up. on our videos, we got to subscribe to us. Subscribe to us on Instagram, and you guys can vote on polls just like this. You get to pick who does the solos at locations like this. And Madison Seminary, again, Adams owned it since 2016. It's a historic location, but there's something new here, the Devil's Toy Box, yep. and we're going to experience it tonight. All right, let's move on. Let's go down to Sarah's room. Uh, we're going to focus on EVPs down there pretty heavily because we get a lot of good EVPs in Sarah's room. We're trying to figure out still who is Sarah, yep. what is she? So let's get down there, uh, let's get in some EVPs and see who we can talk to. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys, so we moved down one floor. We're now in Sarah's room again. If you don't know the story of Sarah, they get the name Sarah here, but they're not sure if it's a little girl spirit, um, something pretending to be a little girl spirit that might be something more negative, or if it's a patient or an older woman that lived here that may have dementia and she believes she's still a child. So they're not positive yet who it is, but they respond very well to the name Sarah. Yeah, one interesting thing about this room too, this closet right behind Steve, when we first came here, we're always told to keep it closed because it's said to be a portal. So they would keep it closed just in case um, anything negative wanted to come through it, just kind of keep it shut. But obviously, as you see right now, it's they gave up on that. Yeah. <laughs> they so. said, well, might as well let it out, see what happens. So we've had some crazy things happen in this room over the years. Loud bangs, footsteps, disembodied voices, really good EVPs. Yeah. We do have the nope rope out here in the hallway to see if anybody's trying to sneak up on us coming down the hall. We have the static dump set up over here by all the scary dolls next to the portal closet. And uh, I think we're going to focus on some EVPs in here, yeah. um, try to get some answers on maybe who Sarah is, why she's here and what else might be going on in here. Right, let's do it. So again, my name's Steve, we got Chris, Dylan, we're just here to talk to you. We mean you no harm, no disrespect. You don't have to leave, you're not in trouble. We've been here before. We were just walking around the building. If you've seen us before, feel free to interact with these devices or speak into these little silver boxes that we have. We should be able to pick up your voice. 
We're just here to talk to you, learn more about you, the history of the building, and your experience here. If you walk up to these lights in the hallway, all they're gonna do is change color. It's not gonna hurt you. You're not gonna break it. It's okay for you to use it. Again, all you have to do is get close to it, and every one of these lights can change color. Red, blue, yellow. Just let us know that you're here. Or if you're down the hall, if you can make a noise, whistle, yell, sing, anything you can do to get our attention. You can move a wheelchair, slam a door. As you're standing at a doorway. Not this door, please. We're gonna ask you some questions. First, we're gonna give you the floor though. We're gonna give you the opportunity to speak without us talking over you. So I have a silver box, Dylan's got one, Chris has one. All we're gonna do is hold them out, we're gonna to count to three, and you come up to them, you speak into them as loudly and as clearly as you can. And we should be able to hear your voice, okay? This is your time, anything you wanna tell us. Ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Right off the bat, though, it almost sounded like hi, Dylan. Hi, Dylan. Yeah. Uh, no. Yep. Pass. Hi, but, Dylan. Hello. It's weird though, because like yeah. it was just constant kind of talking. Yeah. It didn't yeah. sound like super far away. No. no. But I couldn't really make out what it was saying. Almost like whispering. Yeah. I mean, that would make sense though. Yeah. It is four thirty in the morning. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Yeah, put that back. It honestly sounds like it goes Sarah, and then it goes Sarah, and then there's something else after that. Play, play it from the beginning. But I, I, I don't yeah. know. It's, it sounds like it could be Sarah. Yeah. It's tough to make out again, though. But, but again, it doesn't yeah. sound far. No. It's a lot closer. Yeah. yeah. It sounds close. Yeah. Like, like it was in the room. like you yeah. were trying to say you something. Don't there. say that. Don't. <laughs> don't. Well, yeah. I mean, that is the doll that moved its head when I did that live stream here back in like October. We're all set. You don't need to do that again, okay? <laughs> Thank you. You're perfectly fine the way you are. Yeah, That's you fine. look great. Yeah. Good job. All right. Let's see what this one got. And play the back. Yeah. To me, that sounds like I don't know the girl named Sarah. Yeah, wow. yeah. I don't know the long girl sentence. named yeah. Sarah. That is Which a could, I mean, that could make sense, right? If it is someone who's pretending to be a little girl, this place has almost two hundred years of history. Right. You know what I mean? Too. Yeah. So that could be anybody, right? From any point. Like which Sarah are you talking right. about? Right. Yeah. I'll play one more time though. There's more yeah. at the end. See, the thing is, like, but it's not... we all got chattering. Yep. Yeah. But we all got different chattering. Yeah. And we're six feet apart. Yep. 
We all got different chattering, but there's constant talking. Yeah, because Chris's almost sounds like it's saying like Sarah. Let right. me Sarah, let me think. Right. Yeah. Sarah, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like mine, I couldn't make out really any of it. There's just talking. Mm -hmm. Right. Mine has no clue. Huh? Yeah, like, I don't. <laughs> God, I mean, listen, I got no idea who Sarah is, man. Yeah. I'm trying to sleep. That's interesting, though. That's weird. Almost like because, maybe intelligent and right, residual just right. all be mixed in yeah. together, like Could it kind be of jumbled. Like other investigators too. True, yeah, if we true. make an impression of a haunting, they're right. like, is this Sarah? Mm -hmm. Right. We're somehow interacting. I don't know. What if they, what if that they, might be why it's not coming in as strong either right. or yeah. as clear because it's like just one group or something just coming in. Right. Like it's a little weaker. Whereas right. like the Kimmel one right. was so crisp because. Right. But again, you also yeah. have to think, right? What if. We, and we've talked about this before. Yeah. What if Sarah has become this egregore? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. yep. So one group thinks they got the name Sarah one time. Yeah. Fifteen years ago. Becomes a story. Because this place was investigated before Kimmel owned it. Yeah. And so maybe that's where they get the name. And then so this is known as Kimmel. When he bought the place, this was known as Sarah's room. Yeah. yeah. So that's what he's told. You know, that's what he's told people. He's he's gotten the name Sarah since then. But what if it's just manifesting yep. that energy as right. now it's Sarah? Or we've also discussed. It might have nothing to do with Sarah. Mm -hmm. They could have said something one time and the investigators thought they heard Sarah. Mm. And now the spirit or whoever that's in here is across the hall is like, well, they only interact with Sarah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say I'm Sarah. I'm going to go across the hall. Right. Just I want to get talked mm -hmm. to. I want to interact. Could be. They only interact when they ask for Sarah. I'm Sarah now. I'm yeah. going to go with Sarah. You know what I mean? Which like, is kind of sad because their story isn't being told. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's so many different possibilities to it mm. that we just don't know. Right. Right. It's weird. That's, That's what's cool about the paranormal, though. You know? I mean, it yeah, could be Sarah just... from 50 years from now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we, we don't, don't know. know how it works. Yeah. It's crazy. I, I really don't know. But I think we do more. We'll ask some questions. Yeah. Um, and we'll just see if we can get any direct answers this time. Right. Uh, I'm going to step right out in the hallway. Why don't you guys, one, go up by the door. You go over that way a little bit. Okay. And then uh, we're going to go from there. So, again, if anybody's in the hallway or in this room here. Actually. The stag don't go off? No, I'm trying to figure out what the... I just saw a light in the closet. Did you I'm, see it on your camera? No, I saw it like with my eyes. Like I was trying to figure out like if it was um, the light from my mic, if it was something reflecting off the camera, like I'm going... Like I don't know how I could have re recreated that. The windows are blocked out. Right. So it's not like it's a car going by or something. You should go in there and check well, it out. And that... Uh, no, it's okay. Well, in that window... Is in the courtyard between the, there's a, the building yeah, right there. Yeah, that's the back house. Yeah, there's yeah. A, well, there's a building right here. Yeah. The back house is this way. Yeah, there's no, there's no physical way for it. It was like a, a little ball of light though, and it went from left to right. So at first I was like, oh maybe it's just like some light right. might reflect it off. Right. Earth. But there's no, it's not doing it again. It sounds so, inviting. Yeah. Uh, you just go ahead. You and should go in there. Just check it out. I'm gonna go over here. Do a little Bye. session in there. <sighs> Agree. Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna ask you some questions. <laughs> Dylan's in the portal. Bye. <laughs> Chris is inside Sarah's room. I'm out here in the hall. So come on down. Feel free to talk to whoever you want to. We're just going to ask you a few questions, okay? You're going to have to speak up in there? Yeah. yeah. All right, ready? One, two, three. Is there a spirit named Sarah in this room? Did I just see you in here? Is there another spirit in here? Can you say Madison Seminary? Do you like having all these teams come through and try to talk to you? What am I standing next to? One, two, three. Right. What were you standing next to? Right here. A rocking horse. Oh. Yes. Rock yeah, horse. A rocking yeah, horse. A rocking chair is what I thought, but that's not it. That is a rocking right. chair horse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, it's getting kind of late. There's something there. Yeah, there's something there.
Yes, there is. Would you? I thought it was wind at first. Mm -hmm. It was like movement, though. Like, you know when you can hear a body? Yeah. Going, like, moving yeah, in the direction it's, without footsteps? It's right. Like, it's, it's almost like the... Like mass. Yeah, not the wind, but like the... Movement. Yeah. Movement. <laughs> that was... I heard it on. Hi there. Hmm. What am I standing next to? It's not it. No, it doesn't say, it. Dylan doesn't say no. rocking horse. No, <laughs> rocking chair. It's like ah. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be good. That's, that's, that's gonna be a good clip. Oh boy. My turn. Somebody clip that, please. Let's see. But it sounded it sounded farther away. Like it wasn't one hundred percent was not on this floor. No. Um, it sounded. It didn't sound like a like a wooden door. It almost sounded like metallic. I I don't even know what to describe it as. Like I don't I can't even like picture what that would have been. That would have made that noise actually. Right. Like I'm trying metallic, to think of yeah. what could have made that noise. Whether it was like something outside. I don't even know. I'm trying to think of what we would hear that's metallic outside, though. It sounded that way, but it sounded far away. I'm trying to think of what would be downstairs, like maybe a wheelchair or something, like right. in the hallway? I don't know. One of the wheels or something? I don't know, but play that back out here just so we can yeah. keep an ear out. Yes, I There's do. Something there. Yeah, play that. Play that again. Yep. Yeah. Something there too. We didn't say rocking horse. Yeah, for sure. Not, not clear. But if it is an egregore, I mean, that would make sense. Right. Do you like that people are coming in and yeah. giving you attention? Of sure. course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's cool. Um, how, it, again, strange because it, there's there's chatter, and right. there's yeah. some intelligence. There's there's talking. Yeah, um, not as clear I feel like as upstairs. No, no. with the Kimmel thing, we heard the weird movement out here. Yeah, that bang. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's this floor is always strange to me. Yeah, it's always weird. I don't know what to make of it. No. I really don't. And one thing consistent about tonight too, it's always been pulling us in different directions. Yeah. You heard the noises down there. Yeah. Um, upstairs we had the the metal going off in right. one direction, and then you were being pulled the other yeah. direction with footsteps, right? And voices. I don't know. This place is just weird. It's always weird. I think what we do is let's move. Yeah. Um, let's go down. Let's do the SS session in the Devil's Toy Box. I think that'll be cool. Yeah. Um, we'll put somebody in there. We'll close the door. We'll have them sit in there, um, completely surrounded by the mirrors on the ceiling, floor, walls, everywhere. Um, and they'll do an Estes, and the other two will stand in the hallway and in the room there and see what we can get, and then uh, it'll be time to go over to the Civil War building. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. 
Really quick guys, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you drop down below and give us a like, because if we get 3,000 likes on this video, we're gonna head to St. Augustine Lighthouse. So guys, drop a like. Let's get back into the video. All right, guys, we moved down one floor. We're on the first floor now in the Ohio Cottage building. Um, I'm gonna be doing an session inside the Devil's Toy Box. Now, this is a newer thing to Madison Seminary that they just built. Basically, it's a room with mirrors on all sides on the It's supposed to come and like take your soul. So we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna sit in there, go under Estes. Dylan and uh, Chris are gonna be out here listening for disembodied voices, footsteps, that kind of thing. They also have Spirit Talker going. So we'll see if that has anything to do with what's going on in here. And uh, we'll just kind of see what we can get before it'll be time to head over to the Civil War building. Yeah, yeah. good right. luck. I'm gonna go there and wonder. Good luck out here. Let's see what happens. Close me in, I guess. Yeah. Also, the dimensions are six by six by six. So that's kind of cool. Bye, Steve. Steve. So um, when they were first building the Devil's Toy Box, we actually came here, um, it was like halfway done, and we did an Estes in here. We actually got some really interesting responses. Madison is known for its mirrors. Um, a lot of the mirrors in here, I'm not sure if you noticed walking mm -hmm. around, but a yeah. lot of them are covered. Um, they really believe strongly here that they're portals. So they made- So make a portal room. Yeah, Perfect. portal room, Excellent. basically. Cover everything else and then put it all in one room. Yeah, nice. see what happens. Good luck, Steve. It's gonna be great. What could possibly go wrong? That was a female voice. Couldn't make out what I said as soon as I put the headphones on. Female voice. Can you give us the a devil? Tour? That was a male voice. Remember saying it goes the devil. The devil is here. The devil's here. Right off the bat. Yeah. Is the devil in the room with Steve, or is he out here with Chris and I? Okay, that was gross. That was a whisper, and it literally goes. It was like a whisper and it goes, get him. But it was a whisper, it was like, get him. Oh, mm -hmm. so I'm assuming Steve. Yes, probably him. But that's interesting though. Do they know the urban legend of what the Devil's Toy Box is supposed to be? It's right? like a trickster almost? Right. Like just kind of messing around with him? Yeah. Hopefully. That'd be nice. Because the Devil's We just opened the door, he's gone. Yeah. yeah. See ya. Who's in the room with Steve? Next to him? Are you next to Steve? Inside the Devil's Toy Box? It said toy too. I didn't even put that together. Toy. Oh, it's, he said devil too. Toy box, devil. Yo. Are you see, I didn't like, I said toy thinking of like the dolls and stuff. Right. Dude, we're in the devil's toy box. It said toy. What are the chances? That's, that's kind like, of wild actually. That's ridiculous. I'm, I'm losing, losing energy. energy. His camera's losing energy. Yeah, that's true actually. Both of our cameras are not. feeding off of that a little bit. Yeah. That's actually wild, yep. the toy thing. Yep, that is insane. That's insane. And again, we were skeptical of yeah, before we started I'm very it. skeptical of this. Like, yeah. I, I, I don't know who created that. I'm sure right. someone with good intentions created that, but- My but phone's on airplane mode and everything. To say toy, my phone's on airplane mode too. Just won't mess with that. Yeah. But to say toy. That's weird. Are you interacting with both of us at the same time? Are you talking to Steve, inter interacting with Spirit Talker out here? If that's the case, if you're using up too much energy, Focus on one or the other. Try to talk to Steve if it's easier. He's gonna repeat whatever you tell him so that we can hear, okay? We hope that it simplifies things for you. Makes communication a little bit easier. So the whole idea of the devil's box is to Trapped in there? Yeah, right? I think so. So it's saying I'm losing energy as soon as we shut the door and started the session. Yeah. What if we've kind of closed it off? Like it was in the middle of being in between. Of us. Yeah. yeah. And now it's closed off. So if it's out here, are you are you out here with us now? Can you get back into the room with Steve? I'm here with family. Okay, so that's the opposite. I don't know if you guys are walking around, but I can like feel vibrations on the ground, it feels like footsteps. Uh, haven't nope. moved. Yeah. Nope, not us. That's interesting. That's I'm exactly the opposite yeah. of what we've been getting. I'm here with family. Did you follow us from upstairs? Are you one of the patients from the Ohio cottage, from the asylum floor? Again, you're not in any trouble. We're not trying to get you in any trouble. We understand it's late. We apologize if we're disturbing you. 
Are you one of the widows? Is your family here with you too? Did you lose your husband in the war? If you're in that room with Steve and you can hear our voice, can you speak through him? Can you tell us your name? We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. Okay. We're not so trying to rush you. Could be two different. Like I said, someone's out here with us for right. sure. For sure. Are you coming from the asylum floor upstairs? Something interesting about Madison too. It's like the two buildings almost have beef with each other. Okay. Um, so if you talk about the Civil War side here and the Ohio Cottage side, they sometimes get a little bit upset. Oh, really? So it could be even they're coming from another side of the building, you know? Same with the Fairfield and Madison. Oh, okay. After Adam bought Fairfield, it seems like the spirits here got a little bit jealous because he was spending so much time over there. Uh, that's really interesting. Yeah. That was weird. It was like a big breath in. This is my home. Son, this is my Almost home. Almost like a gas. I mean, this could be talking about the the old Civil War cottage and this. Like, yeah. this is this is the side they reside in. Right. Don't talk about the other one. Does it upset you when we talk about the Civil War side? The seminary side? We're not trying to upset you. It's not like I said, old. Steve. Female he's the, voice. He's the one in the toy box. If you talk to him, he's going to repeat whatever you tell him. Right before that, <clears throat> he said he heard a huge sigh. Yeah. Like... I don't know if they're trying to get out here, like, cause this was open. So they were flowing in and out. Right. Huge sigh. Steve, like open the door. Like, right. I'm trapped right now. Like, yeah. Because if this is like Sarah, like this Igor, right? Mm -hmm. We just cut it off from its energy source. I'm losing energy. Toy. Yeah. Are you stuck in that room now that the door's closed? Certainly. 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 Okay, so, like so that just confirms that yep. it works, though. Mm -hmm. Like, duh, mirror, yeah. I can't get out now. That's so interesting. Do you like that they've added this room? We've heard conflicting stories. We've heard that you use the mirrors to travel. We've heard that the devil's toy box can trap you. Is this a ritual? That's, that's what I would. That's what I was confused about when the, when I first heard about this room. Like, is this kind of like a ritual kind of room? Right. Is this a ritual? That's wild. What the heck? That's what I mean. It's this thing's point. nuts. Yeah. That is, okay. All right. Like we've talked about it in a few videos, guys. We're skeptical of phone apps, but so far using Spirit Talker, it's really surprised us. We always use it on airplane mode. So there's no way it's picking up on like Wi-Fi or anything like that. But uh, it's really been surprising us recently. Um, I don't know what to make of it though. I don't know either. I wonder, if we, I wonder if we can use like a keyword or something, just constantly repeat, just to see, just to see. Right, as just like try a, to debunk like it. A, yeah, as we're, as we're doing this though. So. Two more female voices, couldn't make them out. How many people were in your family? You said you're with your family. My name is Albert. Help me. Help me. Stuck. Yeah. Trying to get out. Do you want us to open this door? You're trapped in that room? Albert, if you're out here with us and your family's in there, can you make a loud noise to let us know? That way we can open the door. Slam a door. Stop your feet. Move one of these books to the walker. Whatever you're capable of doing. Drop that coffin. Be crazy. I would leave. Oh yeah. You Sorry, see a grown man run. See ya. See ya. Yeah, literally. You'll be fine. I wonder too if the energy is being trapped in there. If they're almost cut off from what's going on out here. Exactly. Yeah. So they're just yelling like, "Help! Mm -hmm. Help me out!" Help they have no Steve. idea what's going on. Yeah. Like they the can big see sigh. Him. Yeah. 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 That's what I mean. If, if Albert is actually here with us, his family could be in there just because we split it at that time. Yeah. If you're out here with us, you can use this device right here, the Spirit Talker. Try to say toy or let them out. Check on, it was a female voice that said check on, and I couldn't make it out. It was like check on something. Family, still could be family. Yeah. Oriented, if the part of the family is in there. Right, check if you can go talk to him, check yep. on, you know. Sense of death. Sense of death. 
I don't know what to make of it. Like it came yeah. out very strong. Mm -hmm. Just talking about Devil and then Toy, mm -hmm. which is crazy. Yep, the Toy is crazy. But losing energy is crazy. Yeah. Sense of death, maybe like being disconnected from your family. It almost mm -hmm. feels like dying. Losing that power. Right. Losing that energy. I'm like, because. oh, well, now sensing it. Yeah. Do you know that you've passed on? Protect. Are you trying to protect the building and protect your family here? Who remains here? That sounded like a little, like a little kid. No, it like sounded like they said mama. Oh, that's so oh sad. Gosh. I Try to protect like the kid. I, I feel like, yeah. What if we, what if the timing was just that bad where we just split this family? The kid just like ran in <laughs> like and then they're we just shut the in door. There like, oh, yeah. Man, that's why I just got a like sense of sadness on that. Yeah. Okay. We're about to open this door. Okay. We're going to pull Steve out. We're going to be done with the Estes method here in just a minute. And hopefully reunite you with your family. Yeah. We're sorry if we yeah. cause any interruption here, any trouble that we caused. Do you have any parting messages before we move over? To the next portion of the building. Do you have any warnings for us? Any well Not wishes? me. Not me. Not like, me. Yeah. Open no, this door. Just open the door, please. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, been great. Yeah. We appreciate you talking to us. Evil. Yeah, sorry about that. Evil. Yeah. No, we're not evil. We're just trying to learn. We're sorry if we upset you. Yeah. We're not trying to be evil. Here, we're gonna open feel, this door. Feel very sad. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. They're like, wow, these guys are evil. Disconnect from the family. Bad timing. Come on out. We should see if that says anything now. Nope. The door's open. Good. The door's open now. I'm going to go in and... Leave. leave. Okay. Yes. <laughs> right. You can leave. Yes. Morning. Fun. Hi there. Hello. That was a weird session. Yeah, it was weird. Uh, dude, so the, the clearest voices were those first ones as soon as I put on the headphones. Yeah. Dude, the devil, yeah. and then it was like, it goes, get him. It was just like that. You said the devil, and then Spear Talker said uh, toy. Toy. The devil's toy box. Yeah. Dude, it was literally, it was like the devil, and then right after it was like, it was the weirdest voice. It was a whisper. It goes, get him. Just and like those that. were the two strongest you said? Yeah, by far. So like right after that, it said, it said, I'm losing energy. Okay. So then everything started yeah. to get a little it bit more It got quiet for a while. They were coming yeah. in a little bit that was harder to hear. Yeah. But dude, that was right when I put on, like as soon as I put on the headphones, it was like a, a female voice couldn't make it out. And then it was a guy voice goes, the devil. And then it was, get him. Just like that. It was interesting too. Towards the end, it seems like um, when we closed this door here, it shuts them off from energy. Like they're trapped in here. Right. Mm -hmm. And it sounded like we cut them off. It was like a family. Yeah. Like okay. a group of, like a family was kind of in here lot. together. Yeah. Yeah. And we... That was mean inadvertently, of you. inadvertently, <laughs> very evil. Like, like kind of mean. split right. them. Whoops. Whoops. Sorry, Sorry about that. Sorry, Albert. Albert came through. Oh, that was yep. okay. His it family. was weird. Dude, He's was, like, I'm with my family. Those that, that whisper of get him was so weird. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was really, right off really weird. Back. Right off the bat. Yeah. yeah. Oof. All right. Well, let's move over to Civil War side and uh, see if we can get over there. All right, guys, if you've been enjoying tonight's investigation here at the Madison Seminary and all the absolutely insane activity and evidence we've been capturing, don't forget to drop down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you're notified every single week when we upload a brand new investigation. We've been going to some of the most haunted locations all over the U.S., and you're not going to want to miss it. So make sure you subscribe. Now let's get back into the investigation. All right, guys, it is that time of the night, but since it's Chris's first time at Madison Seminary, we figured we'd give him the honor of going up to the asylum alone. So Steve and I are going to head over to the uh, Civil War side of the building and see what we can encounter up there. But Chris, you're going all the way upstairs. It's a long walk. Hope you have a great time. Perfect. And it's where we've had some of the craziest activity tonight. Ah, super honored. Poltergeist activity, voices. Yeah. You saw a shadow already. The equipment's Dude. going off. He's going to take the long trek all the way to the other building, all the way up all four flights of stairs. He's going to do some EVP sessions over there. We're going to bring a couple pieces of equipment with us over to the Civil War side and do some EVPs as well. After that, we're going to meet up, talk about what happened, and then we're going to bed because it's 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, and also, as we talked about earlier too, you guys voted to send Chris upstairs. Perfect, you guys voted to be, be sure to send Chris upstairs. That's what it was. Choice no matter what you guys picked, we were sending Chris upstairs. <laughs> he, wasn't, he wasn't aware of that, but now he is. Yeah. So Chris will be going upstairs. And uh, I hope it's fun. It's good luck. Good. We'll see you in a little while. We're going over here. And, uh, and I'm going over there. I hope you have a good time. All right. Oh, and it's going to be an IR, so it's going to be in the dark. Perfect. Cool. What's going go wrong? Bye, Chris. <laughs> good luck. 
<laughs> just the immediate sigh. Yeah, he's upset. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad. All right. Uh, I can't see. <laughs> oh, oh me either. Oh, oh. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, it is man. dark in here. All right. All right, guys, so we're going, like you said, up to the Civil War side. We're going to the second floor. This is where the seance room is and where some of the more negative activity has occurred over the last handful of years. Because when we first started coming here, we didn't really pay attention too much to this side. I mean, even people who come here, um, we do public events at this location. Again, if you, don't, you guys want to join us here, hauntednightsevents.com, join us up on a public ghost hunt at this location. Sometimes people come here with us, and they forget about this side. Yeah. The asylum is so well known that sometimes the Civil War side gets neglected, yeah. but it's definitely haunted. Definitely check it out when you guys come here. We've had some of our craziest nights over here. Yeah. This is known as a seance room. A lot of weird activity in this room over the years. It's pitch black. It's very too. dark in there, yeah. Also, right across the hall is one of the infamous mirrors of Madison Seminary. That one. Yeah. Right there. That's why they have it covered. Um, a lot of the mirrors here kind of act as portals. So. This is a very strange, strange area. Yeah. Um, there's a doll, a clown doll in this room that's supposed to have an attachment of some sort. So it's just, there's a lot going on up here. Yeah. Already. I didn't even get to like sigh, to like settle in. Oh, not gonna stay with my back in the doorway. Sorry. Is this Frank? We made contact with you before up here. That was in that room where the doll is. That was in that room where the doll is. That was in that room where the doll is. Uh, no. That was in that room. No. That was in that room. Was that talking? That was in that room. Was that talking? That was in that room. Was that talking? Yes. That was so loud. That was in that room right there. Yo. That was, that was a male voice. in this room. Holy chills, bro. Hello? Is this real life? That was right, That was fucking nuts. That was right there. I mean, I'd still rather be over here. Yeah, absolutely. Because sure. I mean, like, fine. we both have done solos up there. Yeah. I've done that walk by myself it's not a good walk it's not fun right it's a long walk it's echoey it's psychological too yeah 100 the staircase is just all concrete yeah. so it sounds like someone's falling and you have down. to walk by every threshold to every floor which yep. is just awful yep he's brave for doing it though absolutely first time in madison first time being here first time being back ghost hunting in a yeah. while too since we got robbed <laughs> yeah since we got robbed pretty much sorry we kind of got startled uh because you're you terrified us to be honest can you set off that rum pod again just touch that device if you're still in there we thought we heard your voice. Kind of shook us up a little bit, not gonna lie. We'd love to interact with you though. I wonder if they get like almost jealous, right? Because right. people don't pay as much attention over here. That's what I was talking to Chris about, right. yeah. If they want to interact and they want to talk to people and yeah. everybody always focuses on that side. Right. Maybe that's why it is so active when we do come over here, right? Because right. they're like trying to get us to come over here more by like giving us a lot of activity. One off some one right. off some ship, yeah. Is that what you guys do? You guys have kind of like a little competition? You don't want your side to be forgotten? We should do an EVP. Yeah. Because of that voice. That was so loud. Yeah. Let's do a quiet one. And then uh, we'll do some questions, but yeah. I'm gonna stand right here. So we're gonna give you the chance to talk. We're not gonna ask you any questions. If you come up to the device in my hand or in Dylan's hand, speak as loudly and as clearly as you can. We should be able to hear you, okay? So whatever message you wanna give us, now is your chance. We're gonna to count to three and then go ahead, okay? Ready? Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like singing? Yeah, do you hear that? Yeah, it sounds like it's a bubble. It's a female voice. Yeah. It was multiple, it was like. Yeah. It was like multiple words. Yeah. And again, guys, it's 6.30 in the morning. Yeah. People aren't just walking around in the middle of February in Ohio singing at 6.30 in the morning. Right. And Chris is on the other side of the building. He's, he's in a different building, building. Yeah. yeah. And he's not a girl. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be impressed if he'd get his voice out either. Yeah. All right, let's play these back. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Hmm. 
Did you hear that? What was that? Did you hear that? What was that? Did you hear that? What was that? It was like two or three footsteps. That was a loud thud and then footsteps. Yeah. Hello? It sounded like it was on this floor. Yeah. I can't tell if it was, it sounded like it was on the left side, honestly. Hello? Those left rooms. What is that? What is that? What is that? It's a voice. What just, That's a woman's voice. What just moved? Something moved in here. Oh, I heard like a voice. That's so fucking loud. What is that? What is that? What is that? I'm scared to look in these rooms. Yeah. <laughs> porch in the front yard. I have no idea. Let's, um, let's keep playing these back. Yeah. I don't know. This has been a, a weird night. Like, this started off absolutely insane. Yeah. And it hasn't stopped. But again, this is a location that doesn't disappoint. Never. Even on quiet nights, like, it's There's still, still activity, active. right? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and play that. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll, uh, we'll play this one now. Yeah. Doing the one camera trick because Chris has the other one. Yeah. It's like a full sentence. Yeah, there, hold on. There's. Get back? Yeah, it's two words. Get back. There's something out there. Yeah. Hello? What is That's that? above us. What is that? There's nothing above us. No. It's the empty attic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Out. It's just like shattered. Yeah. Let's um, let's just use this one. Yeah. Because the speaker on that one sometimes is kind of messed up. Yeah. It's quiet. So let's just use this one. Let's do some questions. You know what's interesting is as soon as we start, the REM pod in there goes off. We hear that voice, and then it hasn't again. Yeah. It hasn't gone off again. We hear the voice. We heard the movement in there. Mm -hmm. REM pod goes off. And that's it. That's it. Yeah. Right. We got a reaction out of you. We're gonna say. And then we're hearing voices. Yeah. Footsteps, bangs, knocks, singing. It's so loud though. It's like it's insane. That's the thing about locations like this too, like giving one night to a location is so tough. Right. Because if you only investigate until two or three right. in the morning, you're sometimes, missing all of this. Sometimes it's quiet, right. Yeah. This is all stuff that's happened since two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Right? So, I don't know, let's ask some questions. Yeah, here we go. One, two, three. Did we hear you speak in this room a minute ago? Did I see you downstairs? Do you recognize either one of us? Is it good that they have the mirrors covered? Do 
It's quite this yeah. faint stuff. It's not super, super loud. Yeah. Um, Maybe with the headphones, you'll be able to yeah, make it Yeah, it might out. be a little louder. Yeah. Let's, um, let's step in here. Yeah. We'll do another one of there, trade off again. Yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll go in there and see what happens. I feel like this room is always active, too. Yeah. We always get good stuff in here. It's a weird room. Yeah. Oh, this, this floor has a weird vibe. Like, even tonight, even though it's like 6.30 in the morning, it feels weird in here. But again, we've neglected it all night. Right. We, we haven't been over here at all. Yeah, we've been on the, the cottage side the entire time. I don't know. It's weird. But let's see what they have to say. Three, two, one. Are you upset with us that we've been on the other side of the building the entire time? Do you ever go over to the other building? Our next spot is also owned by Kimmel. Do you know where we're going next? Can you say Madison Seminary? Does it say it? Do you know where we're going next? Can you say Madison Seminary? Sounds like it says it. Sounds, yeah, you can hear Seminary yeah. for sure. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Weird. I mean, that's intelligence though. Yeah, again. it is. Um, let's do one more. Yeah. Let's go into the room with the doll. And uh, that was a dumb idea, but let's <laughs> yeah. let's go in there and do that and we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up for the night. Yeah. Hope Chris is surviving over there. I haven't heard a scream. Yeah, that's positive. He's also right? very, very far away, though. He is, yeah. All right. So we're coming in here. This little clown doll is supposed to have some sort of attachment we believe to be named Frank. So we'll, uh, we'll see. We'll see what we get in here. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. All right. Three, two, one. Frank, are you the one who spoke to us when we first got up here? Are you getting ready to start your day? Do you have any parting messages for us? Any well wishes or warnings? Before we leave, can you please say good night or goodbye? See what we got. See what he had to say. Frank, are you the one who spoke to us when we first got up here? Are you right? I did. I did. I did. Frank, are you yeah. the one who spoke to us when we first got up here? I did. Are you ready to start your day? Huh? It's like a full sentence. Yeah. Frank, are you the one who spoke to us when we first got up here? Are you ready to start your day? Do you have any morning messages for us? Any well wishes or morning? Before we leave, can you please say good night or goodbye? Almost sounds like spaced out. It was like good night. It was very spaced out. Yeah. Weird. Weird. I mean, it could be groggy though. Yeah. yeah. It's 6.30 in the morning. Yeah. I mean, it's it's been an insane night. I'm wondering how he 
did over there. Yeah, especially being alone in the asylum. It's it's a tough place to do a solo, Absolutely. especially somebody that doesn't do this all the time and he's never been here. Right. This place is intimidating. It's in your face. We saw a door open on its own up there earlier, five feet away from us. Just walking around. It's absolutely insane. Yeah. So I'm hoping he did okay. We'll see what he got. But uh, let's wrap this up. Let's go to bed before the sun comes up and uh, we'll get on to the next spot. Yeah, let's do it. Guys, so I am heading all the way upstairs, Madison Seminary. Uh, turns out A, B, and C were me to do this solo. So, funny thing is, I voted for B also. So I sent myself up here. <clears throat> First time really going solo in a place like this. Uh, already so much activity. So that's going to be great. It's 6.30, so that's great. I've been up for 24 hours, so that's great. Oh God, okay. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be fine. Everyone's gonna be asleep. It's so dark. Oh, it's so dark. Okay, heart's racing. Whew, okay. Yuck. I wish you guys could hear my heartbeat right now. Whew. Just in case I pass away, this is the last look of my face. Gather myself. Here we go. Already the ladder scared me. Good job. Good start. Hello. Yuck. I've stepped two feet into here. Heart is pounding. Nervous talking. Super dark in here. Not cool. So I've only been here today for a couple of hours and already so much activity has happened. Um, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but it is shaking. So the craziest thing, I'm just gonna start right off the bat, that cabinet door right there opened by itself. We spent like 15 minutes trying to debunk it, couldn't, so that should be great. I'm gonna ask some questions in there once I get the courage to do so. Steve's had an experience in here. Uh, I'm not going in there, so I won't have an experience in there. And that hallway is just scary. So this is the asylum, Madison Seminary. Uh, I'm starting to calm down a little bit, so I'm sure something's gonna freaking scare the bejesus out of me shortly. This is so cool too, because now I can't see shit. So if someone's right here, no idea. Gonna be good. Three, two, one. I hope that was outside. All right, three, two, one. All right, let's play this back. All right, so I didn't hear anything there. I'm going to start by coming over here where I saw the shadow. Starting to calm down a little bit. Oh, there it is. Sorry, Kimmel again. Check a board, bad spot. All right, so yeah, I saw a shadow uh, go from the bed to, I guess, the window. Scary, but we did have some uh, activity over here. So I'm gonna ask a couple questions, to see if that spirit is still here. Three, two, one. Is there any spirit that is near this bed that was interacting us with us earlier? Were you a patient of the asylum? Were you with 
with your family here? Three, two, one. Let's see if we got anything. If my hands work. And play it back. My face. There we go. Oh, it says something right there. Let me play that back. Let's play that one back. Definitely heard something on the last one. Is there any spirit that is near this bed that was interacting us with us earlier? Or do you have a from this time? All right, I was with my, but didn't finish. All right, one more time. Is there any spirit that is near this bed that was interacting us with us earlier? There's something there. Or do you have a from this time? Were you with your family here? I was with my doesn't finish it there. Okay. Thank you for interacting. You're more than welcome to follow me over to the surgeon's chair, which is going to be fun. Right. And again, this is where we had this freaking cabinet door open. And here, completely blew our minds. Never seen anything like that. Uh, and somehow Steve was able to catch it on camera, even though he thought he was done recording. So, I'm going to walk in here. Mm, all right. It doesn't feel great in here. This opened. doesn't make any sense. All right. See if whatever spirit is in here, whether it's residual or if it was intelligent. See if it's still in here. Oh, my heart is racing again. All right. Let's see what we got here. Three, two, one. Is anyone in the surgery with me? Can you tell me what medicine or tool you were trying to get out of the cabinet? Can you open this cabinet again or tell me why you can't? Three, two, one. Whew, okay. Is anyone in the surgery with me? Can you tell me what medicine or tool you were trying to get out of the cabinet? There's definitely something there. Okay, let's listen to that one more time. Is anyone in the surgery with me? Can you tell me what medicine or tool you were trying to get out of the test? Can you open this cabinet again or tell me why you can't? I heard something I couldn't make out. I heard the word preventing, though. One more time. Is anyone in the surgery with me? Can you tell me what medicine or tool you were trying to get out of the test? Can you open this cabinet again or tell me 
I do hear preventing, but I can't make out what it is, so. All right, well, thank you for interacting. Uh, that was absolutely terrifying. Uh, I'm gonna catch up back up with the guys, see if they got anything, and go to bed because it's late. All right, so here we go. Hopefully nothing happens on the way back. Well, after that last session, us up in the Civil War side, Chris over in the asylum by himself, it is officially a wrap here on Madison Seminary. It is about 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. It is time for bed. Yeah. We had an absolutely insane night right from the beginning with B-roll, and it never let up. What did you think for your first time here at Madison? Uh, building's amazing. Building's old. Scary. The Demon Toy Box was probably the coolest thing, yeah. honestly. Uh, that session we had, we were talking with the family and stuff. That was really cool. Um, Solo was terrifying. Yeah. So thanks for that. Thanks for did. voting. You did it. Did it. Yep. That's a big thing. Like yeah. Madison's intimidating. It's a scary place. The asylum is freaky. And for your first time here and to do the solo, that's a lot. You just so, got back too. You've been on a ghost hunt how long? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah. So that's awesome. Thumbs up in the comments for Chris. And I mean the door. Yeah. The door. The door is crazy. crazy. We tried to debunk it for what? 15, 20 minutes? Yeah. And I don't know. We tried everything. We jumped yeah. up and down. We slammed the magnet against the side. Like we tried everything we could. We shook the case. And like, it didn't do it again. No. I, I don't know. I still can't explain it. It's one of the coolest things. Yep. We shouldn't have even caught it. That's no. the other thing. The camera was supposed to be off. I don't know. Madison, again, never disappoints. We'll be back out here in May for some events. So guys, HonorNightsMS.com if you want to come investigate with us here at Madison Seminary. But it is about that time. We got to get some sleep because we're filming another video in about 12 hours. So <laughs> we're gonna go get some sleep guys, but uh, let's do it. Yeah.